Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm your meteorologist, Alex Kement, and welcome back to the NCSU Weather Center. A few things I want to talk about is it is going to be a crisp day today, a little chillier than we saw yesterday or even the day before as a cold front moved through. And usually around this region, once a cold front moves through from the north, it's usually the next day before we really start to feel the effects of that cooler air in our region. I do have rain forecast for the weekend, and I'll tell you how much to expect and about when that's going to wrap up and a look at your five day forecast to see how long this is going to last throughout the next week. Hopefully not too much longer. I don't really have that forecast for you. Noon around now it's around 51 degrees outside with mostly cloudy skies starting to build in. Three o'clock is much of the same. It'll be around 56 degrees for our high temperature today. And then tonight around 8 o'clock, we'll keep those mostly cloudy skies around with 47 degrees forecast when we start to near our overnight low. Satellite imagery shows this cloud deck moving into the Carolinas, and you'll start to notice that as we get into the later hours today. But I want to draw your attention to a system back to our southwest, this little area of rotation. This is the remnants of Hurricane Willa. Now, the mountains in Mexico did a pretty good job of tearing this hurricane apart, so we won't see anything in the way of hurricane force or even tropical storm force winds, but it is going to bring us quite a bit of rain as we go through Friday. Here's the future radar, and you can see the remnants of that system are going to start to move into the Carolinas as we get into the late overnight hours tonight into tomorrow. It's going to be an all-day rain event, and there is going to be some wind associated with it, so a rain jacket is probably your best bet rather than an umbrella because you don't want to break your umbrella or even lose it. We will have around 10 to 15 mile an hour winds, maybe some gusts up to 20, 25 miles an hour. But tonight we'll drop into the low 40s, around 42 for your overnight low with mostly cloudy skies. We'll have light winds around. It is going to be cool tonight. As far as tomorrow goes, we'll get up to 54 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Rain and wind are going to define your Friday and hopefully not too much of your Saturday. We'll have winds east-northeast around 10 to 15 miles an hour, like I said. So it will be a little bit windy tomorrow. You might want to just proceed with caution if you want to use an umbrella for your rain protection as you get into tomorrow. And to take a look at the five-day forecast, Friday, nearly 100% chance of rain with a high of 54. We drop down into the 50s, the low 50s for your overnight low on Friday. It doesn't drop too dramatically because we'll keep that cloud deck around, but Saturday will rebound to around 64 degrees. I have about a 20% chance of rain forecast for your Saturday, but I'm thinking that this is going to be in the late overnight hours Friday into the very early morning hours on Saturday. So I don't think it's really going to affect your plans. Otherwise, it looks like a great weekend to get outdoors and enjoy some time off of school before we come back on Monday. The sun returns on Sunday and stays with us through the end of our five-day forecast with highs in the mid-60s. A little cooler on Monday night where we drop into the low 40s, but otherwise lows are in the upper 40s. And Tuesday we'll have a high of 62 with mostly sunny skies. So get out there and enjoy the rest of the week after Friday. This has been your meteorologist Alex Kement in the Wolfpack Weather Center. Have a great week.